Today I am going to deal with the topic steels in pteridophytes. As all of you know, steel is the innermost part of the anatomy. When the transverse section of the stem or the root is taken, it shows three parts outer epidermis, middle cortex, and the inner steel. The steel is made up of an outermost layer called pericycle and next to the pericycle is vascular bundles and the pith or the ground tissue. Pith is also known as medulla. So, essentially the steel is made up of pericycle, vascular bundles and the medulla. In case of pteridophytes, we can see the primitive type of steels and depending upon the nature of the steel, we can see three prime types of steels. The first one is called protosteel, second one is called siphonosteel and the third one dictyosteel. By definition, a protosteel is a steel that is devoid of pith. That means, the protosteel does not contain the pith. And depending upon the xylem configuration, that means how the xylem is arranged, we can see the different types of protosteels and following types of protosteels can be seen. First one is haplosteel, second one actinosteel, third one polysteel, fourth one plectosteel and fifth one mixed steel. Now, the essential and the common feature in all these types is absence of pith. They do not contain the so called pith. First one that is haplosteel. Probably it is the most primitive type of steel that is ever found in any pteridophytes. And in haplosteel, usually a central core of xylem is surrounded by means of phloem. And this type of steel was found in a fossil form known as rhinia and it was also reported in astroxylon. The second type of protosteel is actinosteel and in actinosteel, xylem is stellate or star shaped. It is almost wavy with a smooth contour and the xylem is surrounded by means of phloem cells. And this type of steel can be seen in xylotum nudum, xylotum triquartum. The third type of protosteel is known as polysteel. And polysteel is a peculiar type of protosteel where in a given section we can see two, three or more than three steels. Of course, the individual steel is a haplosteel, but each steel has its own xylem that is surrounded by means of phloem. And this type of steel is very much seen in Salaginella krausiana that is a predominant uh, character of Salaginella. Fourth type of hap steel is called by the name the plectosteel and in plectosteel the xylem is uh, dissected into a number of plates or the band like structures and these bands are intermixed with the phloem cells. And the fifth one and the last one is mixed steel. And in mixed steel, the steel possess xylem cells intermixed with the phloem cells. And when compared to all other protosteels, mixed steels are supposed to be the advanced type of protosteels. And mixed steel can be seen in Lycopodium, particularly Lycopodium cernuvum. That is about the protosteels. The second type of steel is siphonosteel. As the meaning of the word siphono goes, tube 
or medulla or pith. That means the steel containing the pith is called by the name siphono steel. And in siphono steel, we can see the simple siphono steel as well as the solino steel. Simple siphono steel is the one where the central core is represented by the pith or medulla which is represented by the parenchymatous or sclerenchymatous tissue and the pith is surrounded by means of xylem then the phloem. A solino steel is also a siphono steel but it is the steel with leaf gap. Now you may ask me a question what is leaf gap? Leaf gap is nothing but a parenchymatous depression that is found almost opposite to the leaf traces and they are invisible when we take the section but whenever the leaf gaps are present usually we can see a disconnection in the vascular ring. That means a pith with central leaf uh, gap as well as the pith region is called as the solino steel. Now, in solino steel, we can see again two types. The first one is ectofloic solino steel, and the second one is ampifloic solino steel. And this classification is based on the arrangement of the phloem cells. Suppose the phloem cells are found outside the xylem, then it is said to be ectofloic solino steel. And if the phloem is found both on the outer surface and inner surface of the xylem core, then it is said to be ampifloic solino steel. The third and the most advanced type of steel that is found in the ferns is called by the name dictio steel. Dictio steel is a complicated type of steel where the vascular ring is dissected into a number of small bits which are called by the name meristeles. In fact, each meristeel has its own endodermis it has its own pericycle, it has its own phloem and xylem. So, from that viewpoint, each one represent as a segment of xylem. So, these are the different types of steels and in uh, dictio steels, again we can see two types that is simple dictio steel with single ring of meristeels and the second one is known as polycyclic dictio steel. Poly, polycyclic dictio steel can be seen in pteridium, teres and other fonts where we can see either two or three rings of meristeles in a given cross section. Regarding the introduction and invasion of the pith, there are two divergent theories. One theory says that the so called pith region has been formed due to the transformation of the cells which were present in mixed type of steels. That means it is known as medullation theory and the second theory says that the sum of the cells from the cortical region might have invaded into the central region uh, to form the so called medulla and this theory is known as cortical intrusion theory. This is about an account of steels in pteridophytes. Thank you.